Mark, thanks. The jury in a murder trial met to decide on Sapporo Walton's sentence a day after they convicted her in the death of her 19-month-old daughter. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley was in the courtroom when it all happened. She breaks down the emotional testimony and the outcome of the jury's meeting. After about two hours of deliberation, the jury said they couldn't come to a unanimous verdict, which by law they are required to do. In this case, the law defaulted to a life sentence, but this all comes after emotional testimonies from Sapporo Walton's brother, uncle, and grandmother. The jury had several factors they were asked to consider for sentencing. The state told the jury there were aggravated statutory factors in the case, such as the crime being against a young child and it being heinous and cruel, while the defense asked the jury to consider Sephora's lack of criminal history and age or maturity around the time of the crime. Plus, they argued Sephora was under the control of Samaya's allegedly abusive father and had no immediate intent to violate the law. She was very sweet. She was never in no trouble. Then the defense brought in members of Sapporo Walton's family who spoke about the abuse she received growing up from her mother. And so if my sister would have done things different, where she would have been more involved with us, I think the, her whole outcome would have been different. And when she entered into a relationship with Samaya's father as a teenager. She more or less had someone has control in her life. She never got to be in her own authority. The, way she wanted to leave. the jury paused deliberation to ask the judge a question of what another option would be if they couldn't reach a unanimous verdict. Prosecutors say they respect the jury's ultimate decision and appreciate their attention to the argument to find Sephora guilty. In my view, she's forfeited the right to any kind of freedom the rest of her life. What she did was abominable. Another sentencing hearing has been set for May 1st. The sentencing may change a little due to charges Sephora has in other states. In Jonesboro, Clarice Shaley, News Channel 11.